Career Path is all about. I think it touches a little bit about what Melissa said regarding um, the transition from military life to civilian life and how difficult that is, or it can be. Um, many vets leaving the military struggle for relevance and they struggle to find people that understand what they've been and what they've been through. So Career Path really helps to do a number of things. Really importantly is to educate the community about military culture and what's important to vets and their families and what some of their needs are and also to bring or create opportunities for veterans to be together which is something that they very often miss uh, when they leave the service and that's something there's a bond that forms during their time in service that is very difficult to replace in, in regular civilian life so they miss that and they crave opportunities to be together. So the Vets program is why we got started. It's what drew us into serving the veteran community for a couple of reasons. I think dogs are a great bridge to the community. I think everybody understands the importance of dogs. Um, you know, when we talk about PTS, PTS, PTSD, it's not really a disorder until it goes untreated for a long period of time. And part of the warrior culture is to, is to be trained to defend some of the common struggles for people even when they're leaving the military and not in the combat zone is oftentimes how to turn off their warrior brain and I think that the Dogs to Vets program um, gives the veterans tools to use to learn how to live in the moment, relax, better communicate, we use all positive reinforcement training so there's a lot of life lessons in the dog training program. And um, when we talk about elder veterans, that is a model that's been around for thousands of years. And one of the things we talk about here at Clear Path is the life cycle of a warrior. And that is service after service. So we talk a lot about the wanting to give back, but there is a process in recovery that you need to work through. And the elder veterans here um, do that. So the wingman programs, main goal is modeled around a lot of recovery programs that you know if you, you can't talk the talk unless you walk the walk so what we look for is to tap into the veterans that have walked the walk that then want to give back uh, so, how do i know wednesdays what happens on wednesday oh, well they usually have lunch which is a little late okay and uh, usually it's a gathering of all the old eagles old veterans not the new kids on the block you know we paid our dues done our deed survived mostly survived. Okay. Um, Set us up, come on. Huh? I'm a wingman, so I work with any anybody who I need help. My forte is money, budgeting, veterans coming back to having a little transitional issues. Because there, a lot of what we do is very holistic, and it ends up being um, just someone coming into a room and smiling, or being feeling welcomed and feeling part of the family here being able to be in a room like we have upstairs today, which is 100 people, and, and not being uncomfortable in that situation, working through those issues. Um, those are some of um, our most inspiring moments here have been to vets, having vets express that they belong, that they feel that they belong here, and that they feel as part of the family.